page with Product Shop Pop, and today I'm going to show you how to reduce glare on your images like this in just a couple steps. This will be a really quick tutorial, so let me walk you through it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this layer. We're going to start from scratch. So what I want to do is I want to click on the eye on my keyboard, and I want to sample the color of my products. So I'm sampling the color of this mug. And now I am going to go and create a new solid color adjustment layer in that color. So here's my solid color adjustment layer. I'm going to invert the layer mask. So I'm going to click on this rectangle right here. This is the layer mask. And I'm going to press Command I on my keyboard or Control I if you have a PC. I'm going to change the blend mode to darken. So we're going to change the blend mode here to darken. And now I want to reduce the opacity of this to about 60%. That's a good place to start. You can adjust it depending on your product. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, with this layer mask selected, I'm going to use my brush tool. I want to make sure I have a white brush and then I'm using a soft round brush with a hardness of zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over those glares. And as you can see, um, they're greatly reduced. So you don't need to get rid of the glare completely because that's going to make your mug look flat and it loses, you know, the three dimensional quality. Some of those, uh, some of those glares and stuff are what give it the dimensional quality and, you know, um, you don't need to get rid of all of them, but you can greatly reduce them if they're distracting. So you can see this is the before and this is the after. So that's a really quick way to remove glare in your images. I hope this was helpful. Thanks. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials just like this.